Ventilation with a bag valve mask, or BVM, is more effective than mouth-to-mouth -mouth when providing rescue breathing for an unresponsive, non-breathing patient. A bag valve mask device consists of a ventilation bag and a face mask. The bag contains a valve to prevent rebreathing of exhaled air. The bag valve mask should always be used with oxygen. It comes in three sizes, adult, child and infant. For practitioners, the Pre-Hospital Emergency Care Council recommends that one or two persons may be used to ventilate a patient using a bag valve mask. The most important thing is to ensure that an adequate seal is achieved. The mask should cover the patient's mouth and nose. It should not extend over the patient's eyes. Place the mask on the patient's face with the apex or pointed end towards the forehead. Place the apex of the mask over the bridge of the nose as a guide for correct position. The practitioner kneels above the patient's head. He or she seals the mask by using the C grip on the mask with thumb and index finger and placing the remainder of the fingers on the jaw. Open the airway as normal using a head tilt chin lift. Press the mask down and lift the jaw to hold the mask tightly against the face. With the second hand, the bag is squeezed for one second with enough air leaving the bag just to see the chest rise. Squeezing the bag should not be done too quickly or forcefully, as this will cause air to go into the patient's stomach. If too much air enters the stomach, it can cause vomiting and, potentially, aspiration. If a second person is used, the mask is sealed by placing the thumbs of both hands of the first practitioner along the side borders of the mask. Then place the fingers of both hands underneath the jaw, pulling upward. The bag is squeezed by the second practitioner. Your instructor will now take you in your groups through the steps of ventilating a patient using a bag valve mask.